Why, hello there. Welcome back to cost management. This week we will be looking at job costing. We'll start off job costing by looking at the differences, uh, comparing contrasting job costing with process costing. First, a definition. In a job costing system, costs are assigned to unique jobs rather than to processes. Each job will typically use a varied amount of inputs. For example, renovating one kitchen is different from renovating a kitchen in a different house. They will each require different material, different labor, uh, and different amount of inputs. Job costing can be contrasted with process costing, in which costs are assigned to a process, for example, the production of identical laptops on an assembly line and the total costs would then be divided by the units produced in order to obtain a simple per unit cost. That would be helpful with homogeneous, same products like rolls of toilet paper, hashtag 2020 reference. Let's continue to dig in with defining, comparing, and contrasting job to process costing. Job costing is usually deployed in environments where each output is unique and the process to create outputs varies each time. Process costing is generally used for highly uniform production processes where outputs are homogeneous. For example, uh, environments suitable for job costing could be consulting firms, accounting firms, performing each engagement as a quote job. An air conditioning repair business where each repair is a different house and would be considered a new job. Now, Let's contrast that to examples of environments suitable for process costing, which could be a sawmill producing lumber, an oil refinery producing an oil product. So how I like to look at this is rather than trying to memorize the different types of um, outputs, I'm trying to see are the outputs the same or are they different? And for example, um, I try to put myself in the context. So if I were having to have my air conditioner repaired, would I want to have to pay the same price as everybody else? Do I want to have to pay the same price as say Elon Musk's air conditioner being repaired? His is probably much more impressive than my air conditioner. So no, I would like to pay my own unique price. However, if I am going to Costco and buying rolls of toilet paper, I would like to pay the same price as everybody else buying the rolls of toilet paper. So again, looking at the output, looking at the unique items, and then trying to synthesize and put it into context that is meaningful to me in my life or what I've seen in the work. That's a little bit of a hint when talking about your, uh, your wrap ups. Those are items that you can do to try to make things meaningful to you, however you see fit. All right, job costing applications. Job costing is not only useful for determining the total cost to deliver a particular job, but it can be used in many, many other factors, including to inform management's decision on what price to bid on a contract by adding a margin to the job cost. So like a cost plus. Analyzing the cost structures of jobs to look for potential savings. You could organize information related to job costs, ensuring that the structure can be easily reviewed, ensuring no costs are forgotten. Absolutely. Okay, anybody ever hear about the terms garbage in, garbage out? If the information that you're using uh, in to make the decisions is garbage, then the types of decisions that you're able to make are also garbage, garbage in, garbage out. So better information can lead to better decision making. Time for a question. A client of yours approaches you and tells you they want to start two different businesses at the same time. The first is a law firm. They will, um, they will found, uh, they found a law firm and hire a number of different types of lawyers. The second is a bike frame business, producing bike frames to be sold downstream to bicycle assemble assembly companies. You are most likely to recommend the following costing systems for each business, respectively. Is it A, process and process costing? B, process and job costing? C, job and job costing? Or D, job and process costing? If you said D, job and process costing, you are correct. Law firms will typically have to examine each case as a unique occurrence, as the amount of effort required for each one will be different, making jobs suitable, job costing the most suitable. 
Bicycle frame manufacturing, on the other hand, is a fairly repetitive process in which all bike frames are likely identical or near identical, making process costing more suitable. All right, fantastic start to this week. I'll see you in the next video.